Hi there and welcome to my airspace. I'm here at John's Beachcombing Museum and he's been collecting stuff since the 1970s and a lot of these black things over here came from after Fukushima and so John's Beachcombing Museum. It's here in Forks, Washington and it's quite a place. I love the fact that, that he's organized and creative, artistic, and it's not just a big jumbled mess of stuff. And so he's not here right now, but his brother is here. And we're going to go inside this building where everything is, and we can see the stuff from Fukushima. This isn't, this is just normal beach stuff. A bottle collection. He's been collecting since you said 1970, the 1970s, right? All of these items over here came in after Fukushima. And John and, and a group of people went back to Japan taking stuff with them to give it back to the people that it came from find them. And that's all the Japanese stuff. And this is just historical things that he's collected. And I don't mean just. There's a lot of stuff here. Huh? What are all these tags? These are all for crab ponds. They're identification tabs. Uh, uh, okay. They're crab pot identification tags for the Fish and Wildlife Service. That's what all these little tags are. Wow, those are some ancient lures. <laughs> wow. Huh. This is crazy. Dolly World. No, oh, that's why there's so many. The dolls? No. Oh. So John retired three or four years ago as a plumber, right? He used to be a plumber. He was a plumber, and he then set about his life to get this all organized. It had been in lots of containers and bins, and he's done a fabulous job here. Me being a professional organizer, I can really appreciate what he's done here. This is great. I could hire him. Wow, look at all the caps. <laughs> Did he do all this himself, organize this, or did he have help? Did his wife help him, or? Did he do all of this himself, organizing it? Yes, he did. <laughs> really? Wow. 
He obviously had a bunch of fun. Is that those stairs? No, that's private. Okay. It's great that he's uh, keeping all of this for posterity, huh? It'll go on forever. I mean, is that, is he hoping to have it last for a long time, somebody to take it over and keep it and all that stuff? Well, I hope somebody does because it's his life, lifetime achievement. Yeah. What is this? That is a sonar buoy for the Navy. Oh, okay. It's on the beach down by Claylock. Ah, I thought it had something to do with the military. Okay, so thank you for sharing in my airspace, and please um, subscribe to my channel, make it a wonderful day, go out there and spend some time in nature, do some beach combing, see what you may find. Okay, take care. Thank you. Share this. John's Beach Combing Museum. Forks, Washington, 143 Andersonville Avenue. From marine trash to art, what sea creatures emerging from the plastic and nets? This artistic transfer transformation was developed by Student Conservation Association. Okay, bye.